Today, we're unboxing the press kit for the OnePlus 7T. Just making sure there's no hidden surprises. Here it is, everything that comes in the new OnePlus 7T box. We have the phone, we've got a clear case, SIM card ejector, USB-C cable, and charging brick. Are you ready? And here it is, the brand new OnePlus 7T in Glacier Blue. The screen is a 90 hertz AMOLED, a 6.55 inch full HD display with a 20 by nine aspect ratio. It's 27% brighter than the 7 Pro. It's a thousand nits for better viewing in direct and bright sunlight. You may also notice a very small difference here in the water drop notch. It's 31.46% smaller. As for processor, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, which gives it 15% faster graphics rendering. The battery capacity is 38 milliamps. It has eight gigs of RAM and 128 gig storage. It's also got the in-screen fingerprint reader, much like the previous version, but it has an upgraded security algorithm. So this means it'll be faster and more secure when unlocking. When OnePlus announced their Warp Charge 30, we thought that was pretty fast. But now they have a Warp Charge 30T, which will charge your phone 23% faster than the previous version. You can now charge your battery up to 70% in just a half an hour and 60 minutes for a full charge. I'm actually super into this camera design. I don't know why. Like, I feel like just having it placed in the middle, everything feels very symmetric. So with these three lenses, you're gonna have a telephoto, a wide, and an ultra wide. The telephoto lens is 12 megapixels and you'll get 2x zoom. The regular camera is actually 48 megapixels, which is pretty incredible. One of the things that I'm super excited to try out though is it has a new macro mode, which is built into the hardware. So this isn't something that is just software based. It's kind of rendering it to make it look like it's macro. It's actually getting macro shots. So you can get about two and a half centimeters from your object, which is pretty awesome to think that you're gonna be able to get that close and get some really detailed shots just on a phone. So you can also use two different views for portrait mode. So you'll have wide and close up, which is great because I feel like sometimes portrait mode feels like you are only able to take just portraits. So being able to move back and get a little bit wider view, but still get that really great depth of field look is pretty cool. Video is something that is always my favorite to test out on phones. You can shoot 4K 30 and 4K 60. You can also do super slow motion. You can shoot 1080p at 240 frames a second. You can also shoot super slow motion. So you can get 1080p shots at 240 frames a second, but you can also get 980 and 480, but you only be able to capture that at 720p. The front camera is 16 megapixels and you aren't able to shoot 4K front facing, but it will still shoot at 1080. Nightscape is available on both the main and the wide angle lenses. It'll combine information from multiple frames to help produce better images in low light. Low light photography on phones, obviously with the new integration to the new iPhone 11, having that night mode. I think that's something that a lot of phones now are gonna be striving to do. Obviously the Pixel was one of the first to do it and do it very, very well. So to see all of the other phones kind of following suit and trying to catch up to what the Pixel did initially is pretty great. I usually vlog a lot and I'm always on the go using a lot of handheld video. So with this, the video, it's combining optical image stabilization along with electronic image stabilization. And that's giving us OnePlus 7T's hybrid image stabilization. I did a review of the OnePlus 7 Pro when that one came out and they introduced Zen mode. And OnePlus said that the Zen mode went over so well in the previous version that now you can set Zen mode up to an hour. So what Zen mode is, is you can basically just lock your phone. You won't be able to access social media or notifications. You'll only be able to send and receive calls and access your camera, which I think is really good because there are some times where I just wanna like set my phone aside. I don't wanna be bothered, but yet I love that I'm still able to make calls or use my camera if I need to, especially if there's an emergency. I think that's a pretty cool feature. The OnePlus 7T will be exclusively sold at T-Mobile carriers, but you can also, of course, get it online. It'll be coming in two colors. This one, which is the Glacier Blue, which I've already smudged up. 
Sorry. And the Frosted Silver. It's priced at $5.99, which I think is a pretty competitive price considering how expensive some phones are nowadays. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and a test of this because it was just announced and I know you guys are probably so sick of seeing iPhone content. So I'm so excited that we also have some new Android phones to check out. And I'm always such a huge fan of OnePlus. They do such a great job of listening to the community and trying to integrate things that we actually want into their next version of their phones while also keeping the prices down. And I think that's really difficult because how do you make the technology better and yet keep the price as competitive as possible? We also have a few cases to check out. This is the OnePlus 7T Sandstone. I just destroyed that case and all I had to do was go like this. These look great. I love the OnePlus cases because they do such a great job of making them look really nice, but also super thin and light. Like this carbon fiber one, it feels like I'm holding nothing. Which case am I gonna put on? I think I'm probably gonna go with a carbon fiber. Oh yeah, it's a really good look. With those blue accents, hello. So now that it's all unboxed and set up, let's take this thing outside and test out some photos and video. Time to take some photos. I cannot wait to try this out, especially with this ultra wide mode. In a little bit, I will also test it out in comparison to the iPhones, as the iPhone now has the ultra wide mode. I kind of want to see what the difference is between both of the cameras. But first, let's take our first photo on the OnePlus 7T. I just love the way the ultra wide lenses look. Oh, it's so fun. So that was a quick little video test. Now let's do a front facing video. And of course this only does 1080p, so it doesn't shoot 4K, but let's try it out. Here's a front facing video test, watching the sunset here in Santa Monica. There's Tyler. Living in Los Angeles, you sometimes forget how amazing and how close the beach is. I need to enjoy this a little more. The one trick I found when you're shooting live focus or portrait mode on cell phones is to try to keep yourself contained. So don't have your arms up crazy and a lot of spaces like this in your hands or your fingers. The closer you can keep yourself together, the less difficulty these cameras have. I'm trying to figure out what it should focus on. One of the things I'm excited to test out is portrait mode because this will do portrait mode on both the telephoto and the ultra wide, which is cool because I can give you two different perspectives. So Tyler, can you take some portrait mode photos yes. for me? Okay. Let's do it right there. All right. wide angle on the iPhone versus the OnePlus T. And obviously we are comparing two completely differently priced phones. So it's not entirely a fair comparison, but I want to see what these look like. Huh, actually the OnePlus looks like it did a pretty good job. Let's test out the macro mode. There's a little macro button right here. So this takes you into super macro. So it says place the subject 2.5 centimeters to eight centimeters away in macro mode. Let's try to get these little flowers and see how close we can get. These aren't flowers. They're, they look like some sort of weed. This is so crazy. Oh my goodness, I, I keep getting even closer. This looks like something that you would see under a microscope in a lab. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Whoa. Oh God, did you see that ant? I don't even know where it is, it was so small. Oh, I think we got some pretty cool macro shots. So there's a super stable option for video. I wish there was a super stable option for life. Okay, Tyler, you're up. Mm. 
ones, I just took a nightscape just to see if it would pull out some of the shadows and it actually kind of did, which is kind of cool. <gasps> Look at that, how pretty. guys, I've been waiting all day for the sun to go down to get my nightscape shot and then I forgot so I had to just run outside real quick, go to a back alley and get a shot. So let's take this nightscape shot and see what it looks like. So here's what the iPhone looks like compared to the OnePlus. I'm surprised. They both actually look pretty good. Although much like most other comparisons to the iPhone, the iPhone does have a more realistic look, but I'm pretty surprised how good the OnePlus actually does look. So I'm back from testing out the OnePlus 7T and I just wanted to look at some of the images that I took because it's really hard to tell when you're looking on an actual phone screen because everything tends to look different. One thing I will say though is that 90 Hertz refresh rate on that screen, it looks really smooth. Even when you're taking photos, like everything just looks so seamless. I love it. One thing that I did notice is there is some inconsistency in the color between the three cameras. So it looks like the telephoto, even in a couple of these, they look to be a little bit warmer. The sun was super bright, but I feel like it still should have been able to compensate for that. But even looking at it now here, like the photos actually look pretty good, but you can tell the color difference when you switch between the wide angle and the telephoto. Did a pretty good job with the portrait mode. I really love this wide angle. Like that looks cool. This photo is so funny because it actually looks like I was photoshopped and placed onto a massive picnic table because I look like I've been shrunk down. And this is so weird. Like this photo is messing with my mind. Like just the picnic table and the way that the backgrounds and stuff are blurred. I look like I've been plopped out of Polly Pocket into the real world. My biggest complaint on previous OnePlus phones is the audio. It always seemed like the microphone was a very tinny sound and this living in los angeles you sometimes forget how amazing and how this sounds way better so i guess this was just my first look at the oneplus 7t no this is not it this is it this is the 7 pro i had this out for the unboxing and i never actually showed it to you guys because i wanted to show you oh my gosh it's so smudgy I'm gonna show you guys the camera differences between the previous version and also sort of the color difference. So there is a little bit of a color variation because on the Pro, it has more of a gradient type color. So I feel like it was a little darker at the top. So a little more of an ombre look, whereas this time it's more of a consistent overall and a little bit lighter of a blue. But either way, this was my first look at this. I cannot wait to try it out a little bit more. I am kind of a fan of this camera arrangement. I was talking to Tyler and he said he wasn't, I'm just gonna throw you under the bus there, Tyler, but now I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of a fan of this camera arrangement. I feel like it's a little bit different, but what I like most about it is how it looks when I have this in a case. But for now, I think I'm just gonna let it be free, no case, and just let it live its best life. Another thing I noticed in my short time with this so far is the in-screen fingerprint reader is way faster. Like it just feels like it's just snappy. Another difference between the 7T and the 7 Pro is obviously the pop-up camera, which was something that I thought was so cool that they decided to implement in here. But this is a lower cost phone, so you are going to be losing a few of the features in the Pro version. So that's it. That's the first look at the new OnePlus 7T. I look forward to seeing what you guys think. I know that you guys are such big OnePlus fans. And I mean, honestly, I am too. I love the look of their phones. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think of this phone so far? Do you have one? Are you gonna get one? And what phone do you guys have? I'll be reading all of those comments below, so I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye-bye.